is this is uh, the dissidents, whoever is involved, um, putting out that their claim that they have access to the leaked documents, uh, they're putting out a verification on that. And I think that is their main intention in terms of what's happening here. But I will not be intimidated. And uh, I've already been in touch with the police. And they have, I think, already put out a statement saying that they're taking actions uh, and they're certainly investigating this. The only thing that's left in the wall because it becomes evidence because the staff member uh, took it off immediately. Once he opened up the office, he went back out and took it off. And I have that evidence uh, for the police and they're coming to collect it. Um, to have the names, uh, because we know it's from the reports uh, from the police themselves, to have the names of the officers, if you were caught putting such uh, information up, uh, then you would be under criminal uh, charge immediately, and it would be a very serious charge. In the same way as if you are spreading this on social media, the police have already said that that could be a criminal offence. Uh, one of the reasons which makes me believe that it is this and is precisely that, is that they were clever enough um, to take this to remove, and you can see where it has been removed in, in the document, and to put up what they believed would not have been necessarily illegal because in an FOI, you can't give out that type of information but not the names of officers. So that's the logic, um, putting it up in front of a Sinn Féin office, putting my photograph on it, was an attempt to intimidate me. It will not intimidate me. We represent the largest number of uh, people in uh, the nationalist areas and we will not be intimidated by these small groups who have nothing to offer, who have uh, minimal, if any, support in these actions. And of course, uh, let me re-emphasise, because this has been going on for a number of days, the main focus in this here, and the main worry of course, is with our police officers and with staff and with their families. And that remains a difficulty, and this is them trying to up the ante in terms of that. So it's, it's a despicable act.